What's up guys? So today we'll be installing a trailer hitch on the 2021 NX300 hybrid. So I already started. So I need this because I don't have any help, but if you have any you have someone that can help you then you won't need this jack. So first thing I did was I had to pop the hanger, one rubber hanger over here and one rubber hanger over there right there and then so now i want to put the trailer hitch and line up this the bolts right here and right there and on this side right there and right here so I'm gonna do that right now. This is a really easy trailer hitch to do on a NX300H. So right here basically it comes with four bolts and four washers. So you just put it together like this. So right now I have it like this. And what I'm gonna do is raise it up and then line up this hole with that hole up there and then put a bolt through and same on the outer side on the back side and same on the right side so yeah if you have somebody to help you this is way easier the dilemma here guys uh, you see that plate right here this bracket where that hanger is well it's hitting part of the hitch right there on this side so what I need to do is I'm gonna have to make a slit on that bracket and I'll show you guys when I'm done so this is what I gotta do guys I gotta cut this with a right here angle drag grinder right this way and this way There we go. So if you guys are wondering how to remove that plate, because it's easier to cut that thing, you just gotta remove this bolt right here, which is 17, and same thing on the back side. And then there's a 10 mil right here that attaches to this uh, heat shield. So you just kind of loosen that, pull this down, and then loosen the 217, and this should come off, and then you can cut it better. So what I did after I cut it, I sprayed a little bit of black paint so nothing is exposed, you know, just in case it gets corroded or whatnot or rust. So anyways, that's that now. So now I'm going to try to fit it in now. So now you, you guys can see it's not out here anymore so it shouldn't interfere with the tow hitch. Alright guys, so I managed to um, line up these two bolts here. It was a little tight going up so what I did on this side, right here. Because it was a little tight. So I had to use a pry bar. And then I had to wedge it like this. And then pull it to the side like this. So to spread it a little bit. To clear this um, frame. But then after that it just slid right up. So I put the bolts right there loose. They're all loose right now, and now I'm just gonna tighten it. And then I'll tell you guys the torque spec after. So according to the manual, it's saying to torque it to 60 foot pounds, but. I up mine to 80 foot pounds, so it's up to you guys. If you guys want to follow the 60 foot pounds or 80 foot pounds, it's totally up to you guys.
There you go. One. So you do that for all four. You don't get the spec. All right. All right, guys. So that's what it looks like now installed. So now I'm gonna show you guys what part number it is. So right here, and that's the part number right there. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. It was a short video. Yeah, it's pretty easy actually. You just need somebody to help you put it up. Anyways guys, thanks for watching and see you again next time. Bye for now.